welcome to Cheap Joe's Art Stuff. My name is Julie and I'm here to impart some knowledge to you today via a two minute art tip. And today is another composition story, but I feel that it's really, really important because I heard some people talking about this recently and I was just like, that, it's important that people like really don't think this. And that is that the people understand that balance is actually different than symmetry. There can be asymmetrical balance. There can be like all kinds of different kind of balance, but visual balance is a very, very important part of your composition and your design. And what kind of started making me think about this was like, we did a whole video series about the elements of art, line, shape, color, texture, value, pattern, all that kind of stuff. We did a whole thing about that, you know, and that is the parameters for which composition and elements are, of art are, are kind of taught to fine artists. But then it started to kind of dawn on me that the elements of design, which are taught to graphic designers and illustrators and stuff like that, is actually taught differently than it is to fine artists. They're similar concepts, you know, and many of them kind of overlap, but they're taught very differently. And balance is one of those things that really kind of isn't talked about in a fine art way in the same way it's talked about in design. And so the elements of design are balance, proportion, rhythm, emphasis, and unity. So emphasis, you would look at that as like your focal point and stuff like that, but we don't have an element just for focal point. The elements of design are really kind of unique and kind of an important way to look at your work from a design standpoint. I have a photo here that I want you guys to look at because I think it's important to understand what I'm trying to tell you about how balance doesn't necessarily need to equate to perfect symmetry. Now in florals, flowers and nature, you're never gonna have like perfect symmetry. So it's never going to occur. But like in this one, we have some obvious areas of asymmetry where the bottom, the subject actually dwells mostly in the bottom. And that's where the focal point actually is right down here. But the other area of symmetry that we also kind of have is in that it's balanced because if you divide this in half, down the center, you have a couple of petals happening down here, but you have this really, really strong stalk that has the other blooms on it. If you look at it from the other direction, you have a totally different set of things that are happening. You have these fronds that are coming out um, that are radiating out from the focal point, okay? And so you have some asymmetrical balance or a discordant off balance happening. And the reason this works is because you have objects of an equal rhythm and an equal visual weight that are all occurring in this thing, okay? So it doesn't matter that the subject's here and all this is happening up here. Because the nice part is, is that because your focal point is right here, you have two or three other interesting areas happening in here, which creates a balance, okay? You have your focal point, which is kind of like the hook at the beginning of the song. It ain't the whole song though. You gotta still have some stuff coming up after that, which is all of these other complementing visual elements that go along with that. And so the balance is achieved because you have, stuff happening here, you have stuff happening here, and you have equivalent size and shaped kind of um, objects happening on either side of, side of the picture plane. So balance can be achieved without perfect symmetry. So we hope that that's helpful and that you enjoy. <laughs>